What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be going over a question that you guys have asked me frequently in the comments and I've also gotten a few messages on Instagram about how to register your vehicle here when you're moving from out of state and also what you're going to need to get your driver's license. All right, so like I said, guys, we're going to be going over how to get your license transferred from another state when you're moving here to Nevada and how to go ahead and get your vehicle registered and good to go. So before we get into it, guys, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing down below. And if you're back again from a previous video, make sure you guys give this a thumbs up. So first we're gonna go over how you can transfer your driver's license from whether you're moving from California, New York, Florida, it doesn't matter what state you're coming from and it's walk you through the process of getting your driver's license here in Nevada. So the first thing that you're gonna need guys is you're gonna need your current driver's license. You're gonna need some sort of proof of identity. So whether that's a driver's license or just a state ID that you currently have, you are going to need to bring that with you. Once you're here at the DMV, they're gonna hole punch your old ID and basically make it invalid at this point. You'll receive a piece of paper as a temporary ID and they will mail you your real ID and you'll probably receive it in about a week. Now you're gonna need a few things. Like I said, you're gonna need your old ID. You're also going to need your social security card and you're gonna need two forms to prove your residence. So I believe that I used my leasing document for here at my apartment and I used my power bill for living here at this apartment as well. I believe you can use things like a bank statement, you can use a credit card statement. There's many ways that you can go ahead and prove your residency. I'll put a list on the screen straight from the DMV website. I'll also include a link straight to the DMV website that will walk you through this entire process and give you a little bit more in-depth information on what you need to bring for your ID. So before you actually go, the one thing that I would highly suggest is that you actually make an appointment before you show up. If you go to the DMV without an appointment, be prepared to wait upward of two to three hours sometimes to get actually moving in line. You can just go online, set a date, set a time, show up at that time, and you're in and out like a breeze. A lot of times the DMV has this reputation, you know, for being a nightmare and a bad place to be. And quite honestly, if it's that experience for you, it's probably because you did not make an appointment. So take the time, set the appointment, get it set up, show up when you're supposed to show up and be done with it. And the next thing we're going to go over is how to get your car registered, what the fees are going to be like, all that good stuff, because this is another question that I get probably even more so than the driver's license. And the first thing that you're gonna need is you're gonna need to switch your insurance over to Nevada. So whether you're moving from Florida, like I said, California, doesn't matter. You're gonna need to call your insurance company. I recommend you do this prior to moving just so that you know what your premiums are gonna switch to. And when you move here, you're not shocked because most people's insurance does go up significantly when they move here. It depends on your zip code. It depends if your car's garage. There's a lot of factors. So go ahead and give your insurance company a call before you move here, get a quote, get prepared, and then actually switch it over prior to going to the DMV. You're gonna need to have proof of Nevada insurance. If you still have your insurance in California, if you still have it in Florida, they are not gonna be able to walk you through this process. You need to switch this over first. The next thing that you're gonna need is your license plates and your registration from your old state. You're gonna to have to actually give your old license plates over to the DMV. You're gonna to have to surrender them. So whether that's your front and back or just your back, depending on which state you're coming from, you will need to surrender your plates to the DMV and your registration in order to receive the Nevada plates. Now this is not optional. This is a requirement that you have to give them the plates if the car is currently registered. So don't try to be playing games about, you know, I don't have the plates, I lost the plates. You're not gonna be able to do that. You have to give them the plates when you move here. The next thing that you're gonna need is a smog test. So you're gonna need to drive your car through one of these smog stations here in the state. You can find them at almost every single gas station. You can find them on corners all over the place. You can do a quick Google search for a smog check and you're gonna need to go get that done. It can range anywhere from $20 to $60 just depending on the station, the type of car that you're using. For me personally, I only paid about $25 to get mine done and it was a super simple process. I went to the DMV here in Henderson. Right across the street from there is a Shell gas station that does the DMV emissions test for you. I was in and out within 10 minutes, super simple. They plug it in, they run a test and you're good to go. 
So make sure you get that before you also show up at the DMV. The next thing that you're gonna need is your title for out of state. Now this is completely optional. You do not have to do this. And this only applies if you own your vehicle. If you're still financing, making payments, or you lease your car, you are not gonna worry about this part of the video. But if you do own your car outright and you have a title currently in Florida, you're gonna to wanna to transfer that title here to Nevada. It just makes things on the sales side a lot easier for actually getting the title in the proper state. But again, if you finance your car or lease your car, completely skip this step. And the last thing you're gonna need is a VIN inspection. Now this is actually done at the DMV as far as I'm aware, at least where I went here, it was done at the DMV. So I did mine in Henderson and there's the main DMV building and then just right across from there is the VIN inspection. They're just gonna make sure that your VIN matches your um, inside of your driver's door. They're gonna make sure that your VIN number matches your windshield. They just wanna make sure that everything checks out with the car and there's no weird stuff going on um, about it being salvaged or you know the VIN number have been toyed with. They wanna make sure that they're identifying the correct vehicle in the database so that when they register it with the state, it pulls up the correct vehicle. And this is a very simple process. I didn't even have to pay anything for this. You drive in, you get the piece of paper, it takes maybe five minutes, and then you wanna bring that inside of the DMV. So that's gonna be the very last thing that you wanna do before you're actually walking into the DMV. So if you have an appointment at say 2 p.m., I would get there at about 1, 1 15. Give yourself some wiggle room because there may be a line. Get your VIN inspection done, then go straight inside and you'll be all set. Now, once you're inside, here's where things can get interesting. So you're gonna actually obviously have to pay to register your vehicle. For my license plates, I just got the regular Home is Nevada plates and it was around seven bucks. So the plates were actually super cheap. If you do go specialized, if you do a design, if you do the Las Vegas one, anything of that sort, you are gonna have to obviously pay extra. But if you just get the standard blue Home is Nevada plates, it's like seven bucks. As far as your car registration, it's gonna go off of your MSRP of your vehicle. So if you have a Ferrari, you're gonna be paying a hell of a lot more than somebody who's driving a Toyota Versa you know, or a Nissan Versa. So just be prepared that you are gonna be paying the MSRP of your car. Now, if you have a car that is a 2011 Audi like I had, you're gonna be paying off of the original MSRP. So that car, I don't know what the original MSRP was. I don't remember. I think it was about 39,000. I paid registration based on the 39,000. It's not the current value of the car. It's the original MSRP that they go off of. So what I would suggest before you move here is click the link down in the description to the DMV site. It's gonna walk you through the actual calculator. You're gonna put in either your VIN number for the most accurate information, or you're gonna put in your make, model, and year. And it's gonna give you the estimate, which is, technically the actual price. They have to put estimate because things may not 100% line up. But for the most part, this is what you can expect to pay on a yearly basis for your car registration. And that pretty much wraps up this video. The only thing I guess I didn't cover was the license fees. I believe it's around $42 for your license each time that it renews. I think it's valid for eight years. So they're good for a long time. The license is not the big thing. It's a very simple process but just make sure that you guys do this within 30 days of moving here. If you're somebody who wants to keep your out-of-state plates, you wanna keep your out-of-state registration, um, be aware that if you have that and you are caught with that, it is a $1,000 fine. So if you don't change your plates within 30 days of moving here, just be prepared. You are putting yourself at risk of a $1,000 fine. If you have a way to prove that you still live in your old state, and all that stuff and you don't live here, then you can probably get away with it. But I would advise highly that you just switch everything over, just get it done, get it taken care of. That way you don't have any aggravations in the future, you don't have any problems in the future and everything will be good to go. And then the last thing that I'll go over is just how you can actually pay for these. They take cash, they take checks, they take debit, they take Visa, MasterCard and Discover. So if you are planning on using an American Express, be aware they do not accept American Express, but you're gonna be good with a Visa, MasterCard, Discover, cash, or check. So I hope that helps you guys out. I hope that clears up um, some of the questions that you guys had about moving here in regards to the vehicle and how much it's gonna cost for you to register your car and go ahead and get your license transferred over. It's a very straightforward process. If you've ever moved from another state in the past, it's pretty much the same process that you're gonna go through anywhere. You're gonna to have to need your documents and all that 
good stuff to get transferred over. Um, but it's, it's very simple. Just make sure that you make the appointment, you have the proper documents. Again, I'm gonna put links down in the description so that you can check the DMV website and just overlook everything before you go. Make sure you have the correct documents. And then once you have all of those documents, you have your appointment set up, you will be good to go and it will be an easy process for you. If you don't do these things, it's gonna be a nightmare, it's gonna be hectic, it's gonna be aggravating. So make sure to set your appointment, have your documents ready before you go. That's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any other questions, comments, or concerns about this topic or any future video recommendations that you'd like to hear about, drop them down in the comments below. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you in the next video.